While Russia flexes its air power with roaring Sukhois and hypersonic boasts, a quiet revolution has been brewing just across the Baltic Sea. No loud parades, no flashy propaganda, just a country of 10 million people, designing something so advanced, so unpredictable, that even Moscow is watching with unease. This is the story of Sweden's secret jet program. A program that terrifies Russia, not because it's big, but because it's smart. In the age of superpowers, Sweden was never supposed to matter this much. It doesn't have a nuclear arsenal. It doesn't have aircraft carriers. It doesn't even have a massive air force. But what it does have is a tradition of building machines that defy logic and humble giants. While the US and Russia poured billions into stealth and size, Sweden quietly asked a different question. What if a fighter didn't need to be invisible, just untouchable? That question became the soul of Saab's most ambitious project, a jet designed not to show off, but to survive anything. To understand why this jet terrifies Russia, you need to understand how Sweden thinks about war. For them, war isn't about dominance, it's about endurance. For decades, Sweden stood as a neutral nation surrounded by potential threats. The Cold War taught it a brutal lesson, never rely on anyone else for survival. So instead of copying the US or NATO playbook, Sweden wrote its own. Its military philosophy was simple. Stay small, stay hidden, strike fast, survive longer than anyone expects. The Gripen was born from that logic, an aircraft that could operate even after Sweden's air bases were destroyed. How? By turning the entire country into an air base. Gripens were built to take off from ordinary highways, refuel from trucks, reload from road crews, and get back into the air within minutes. It's a system the Russians can't predict and can't easily destroy. Because when your enemy's runways are everywhere, where do you strike first? When the first Gripen rolled out, critics mocked it. A single-engine fighter in a world of twin-engine beasts? Too small? Too cheap? Too Swedish? Experts laughed until the data started coming in. In exercises with NATO and U.S. forces, the Gripen performed like something from the future. Pilots called it a ghost. Fast, agile, and almost impossible to pin down in electronic combat. Its secret? Not raw power, brain power. The Gripen EF isn't built around stealth coatings or brute force. It's built around information dominance. Its sensors and electronic warfare systems can jam, spoof, and mislead even the most advanced radars. Instead of hiding, it confuses its enemies, feeding them false targets, ghost signals, and chaos. And chaos is something Russia's air defenses fear the most. The Russians have built their entire air defense empire on radar coverage, a layered network of S-300 and S-400 missiles designed to detect, track, and destroy anything in their airspace. But the Gripen EF changes that equation completely. In tests, it's shown the ability to blind advanced radar systems and operate in environments where even the stealthiest fighters struggle. It doesn't try to sneak past defenses. It outsmarts them. And when combined with Sweden's growing network of surveillance drones and ground sensors, it becomes part of a digital battlefield Russia can't fully see or control. That's the part Moscow doesn't talk about, because they know the danger. Now, here's where things get interesting. When Sweden officially joined NATO, the alliance didn't just gain territory, it gained technology. Because deep inside Saab's headquarters in Linshopping, there's more happening than just grip and production. Engineers are testing next-generation electronic warfare modules, AI-assisted mission systems, and data-sharing technology so advanced it can link fighters, ground units, and naval ships into one living network. In short, Sweden is building the nervous system of NATO's future air power, and it's happening in near silence. Of course, none of this came easy. Sweden's defense budget is a fraction of the US or Russia's. For years, politicians and analysts questioned why such a small nation kept pouring money into its own jets instead of buying from abroad. The pressure was intense. Some said it was a waste, that Sweden should just buy the F-35 like everyone else, but Saab refused to surrender its independence. They believed that if Sweden gave up its fighter program, it would give up its sovereignty. And they were right. Because today, the Gripen EF doesn't just protect Sweden, it protects NATO's northern flank. It's the perfect aircraft for defending the Baltic region, 
where short runways, icy weather, and unpredictable threats make most other jets nearly useless. Even U.S. commanders privately admit, but there's a part of the story that few outside military circles truly understand. The Gripen EF isn't the end. It's the beginning of something much bigger, because Sweden is already testing technologies that could redefine air combat for the next 30 years. Inside Saab's Black Program, an internal development branch wrapped in secrecy, prototypes are being tested that blend manned and unmanned operations. Picture this, a single Gripen leading a swarm of loyal wingman drones, each armed, each capable of independent decision-making, and each linked to the pilot through an AI-driven system. It's like turning one fighter into an entire air force. And guess what? Russia has no counter to that. At least not yet. In recent years, Russian reconnaissance flights have been spotted unusually close to Swedish airspace. Their mission? Intelligence gathering. But Swedish radars have caught something remarkable. The Gripen EF's electronic warfare systems are so sophisticated, they've rendered those attempts almost useless. Russian pilots have even reported phantom targets, radar echoes that appeared and vanished without explanation. A NATO analyst summed it up best. Sweden doesn't just defend its skies, it controls them. And now, with Sweden fully integrated into NATO, the implications are massive. Imagine a northern defense network linking Finnish F-35s, Norwegian F-16s, and Swedish Gripens, all feeding real-time data to NATO command. It's an invisible wall stretching from Norway to the Baltic, and it's one Russia cannot easily breach. For the first time in modern history, the balance of power in northern Europe is shifting, not through nuclear weapons or massive armies, but through innovation. And it all started in Sweden's quiet labs, with a jet that most of the world underestimated. The Gripen EF isn't the fastest or the flashiest. It doesn't need to be. It's the quiet killer, the survivor, the strategist, the jet built by a nation that refused to be intimidated and ended up intimidating everyone else. While superpowers spent billions chasing perfection, Sweden built something more dangerous, practical brilliance, because war isn't won by the biggest. And now, as Russia looks west across the Baltic, it doesn't just see NATO. It sees a small, calm country, armed with machines designed to outthink, outfly, and outlast anything in their path. That's the secret Sweden never needed to shout about. Because in the silence of the northern skies, its message is already clear. You can't fight what you can't catch. And the Gripen.